Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Brian here from Native Bird Boxes. Well, what is it we're up to today? Well, we're working on Osprey platforms. However, something a little bit different. So, I'll let you see this right here in this stand of these pines right here that have slowly over the last five to seven years that have been declining. There's one that they have chosen to build a nest in. And they've nested here respectfully about five years, uh, but to a point now where this tree is right next to a premier location where a lot of people pass by, either be in their golf carts or walking or machines and staff. But you can tell that this pine tree is totally degraded now and soft, and they are concerned about the well-being of the humans in this area as well. Proactively though, we have an osprey platform that we have set over here, just to the other side, more out of the way, so that way the birds can be safe as well, and the humans can pass and take care of their stuff as well. We have been having osprey sit on that platform, investigating it, and obviously we're outside of nesting season right now because it is September. So, while it's outside of nesting season, we can take care of moving things around, such as nests like that, uh, and these type of concerns. So how are we gonna get up there? I'm not climbing, promise you, but I will be on this big lift right here. So we'll use this lift. We'll get up here into this pine tree and make sure that uh, everything is taken out of that nest right there. We're gonna collect everything that is also on the ground. And we're gonna take it over there to that other osprey platform that's preset and go ahead and nest it so it's prepared and ready for their upcoming season. And their scent will already be over there on that platform. We'll keep you updated once we get over there. Okay, so here we are up here where the nest site is. As you can tell, it's extremely brittle, uh, really not a lot of support. And these limbs that used to be very strong and wonderful for a nest to be here, just is not happening. Uh, but such an interesting tree. We would refer to most of these, such as this one next to us called a snag tree that would be left for wildlife, even though it had died either from a lightning strike or other natural causes, because it's an opportunity for other birds to be able to build a nest like the osprey or other birds such as maybe a woodpecker that would be living there, a downy woodpecker, maybe a larger woodpecker. Sometimes you would even get yourself uh, brown-headed nuthatches living in these type of trees in cavities like this, but most certainly woodpeckers. They love it, especially for the insects. So but this particular one no longer is viable for being able to hold this nest. So like I said, we're gonna be taking it down, uh, putting all the material into these buckets, uh, which we have. And then we're gonna be going right over there and putting everything up on top of that platform that we've already established. Keep you posted. Okay, everybody, so here we are at the Osprey platform that we are going to be re-nesting. All of that material was taken from the original nest site that's right over there, and it's gonna come right here. This platform was established last fall, and the birds did not use it. There was a lot of nesting material in here when we set this thing, but over a year of weather and birds perching here it's uh diminished so what we're going to do is take everything that we have in these two buckets and we are going to be rebuilding their nest for them keep you posted okay that's two large bucket loads of all the material that came from that uh, snag tree over there where the nest site had been. And this is what we have recreated for them. And these birds will re-nest in areas like this. And even though we as humans have tried to recreate a nest for them, simulating everything that we possibly can to make it perfect, they will come in and do a lot of redecorating on their own. So any sort of branches that are there that are not how they like them, they will gnaw and pick and lift and replace and play house and have a good old time. And right there in the center, they'll be able to create their own cup as they bring in more material. 
which would be of palm fronds and maybe some more Spanish moss, that they would create that cup where she would drop the eggs uh, for incubation time. Well, hopefully you all have enjoyed this little segment of refurbishing uh, a osprey platform and a nest site uh, from a very brittle snag tree to then replacing right here. Not a bad place to be a bird. You look all around, beautiful green space, being a golf course. You look at all these incredible lakes that are here. Those buildings on the backside over there is where the Back Bay is located in the Gulf of Mexico. Not a bad place for a bird to live. Y'all take care now.